going to be running quite as quick in the race. We thought maybe one of the faster guys might have tried to jump her. But you know, she had it all. She had a fantastic start there. Came off the line like a rocket into the first turn. And then away, Steve. And off they go. And here's Ryan Torrente making the move to the outside. Side by side. Pushing Merritt to the extreme as they work their way down. And they get together. And Merritt, and it looks like Sean Torrente tagged each other and blew each other over. What a shame as these two boats acted like an airplane wing and they got tremendous lift and over they went side by side. And Torrente looks like he's okay. Marit Strumoy off to the right. She's on the other side. Look at Torrente. He's got to be very, very visibly upset and he should be as he thought maybe he had a chance. Uh, Ted Grigooch from Canada, team manager. He's got to be bitterly disappointed. As we watch it again, the boat's getting side by side together. That creates more lift. It becomes an airplane wing. And they almost touch going backwards. A reverse barrel roll. As look, both of the canopies may have come together for a brief moment. Watch, right about here, they touch each other and barrel roll side by side in opposite directions. And wow, that was almost like a fighter jet display with the red arrows coming together. They went up, they touched, and then they continued on. I'll tell you what happens, Steve, because I've been in the situation many times myself. When these boats are running at full chat with only probably an inch or so of the boat in the water, Sean Torrente was on the outside, Maritza was on the inside. She started gliding and pushing a little bit over. The boats got very, very near, and then there's so much air turbulence between the two of them there. As you can see, they got so close together because of the turbulence, and at 150 on a mile an hour, came to a grinding halt. I'll tell you what, they knew they'd been in an accident there, that's for sure. And that is such a shame because she was doing such a wonderful job out there. But Sean Torrente, the young American driver, was so keen because he knew this was his chance. This is where he could move into the lead and start pulling away from the rest of the field and it's come to nothing. Both drivers out of the race, both displaying tremendous talent. And again, they got so close together that they created a larger area of lift and that blew them both over. But it was amazing, Jonathan, the way they pirouetted exactly the same way and they touched canopies and then they continued on and rolled off in opposite directions in a barrel roll. More importantly now, with them out of the race, now you talk about Team Qatar, one, two. This is exactly what we saw in race number one. Guess what? The second year man, Ivan Berga, or you get a chance to watch uh, a course with Alex Corella, the second year man from Italy, sitting in that position in that number one spot. And guess who's behind him? The Wiley veteran, Jay Price, who leads this championship, his teammate. Oh boy, we're in for some fun now with Team Qatar fighting one, two. Yeah, we thought we were in for a, a day of history. Uh, you know, you can see Marit Stramoy there waving away. She's fine. <clears throat> you can imagine these boats are so strong. If I if I go back fifth if I go back 15 20 years Steve I can tell you now these people at the very least would be going to hospital and we used to have a lot of fatalities but because we introduced these new safety cells as you can see the two boats turning over there you can see how hard they hit the water it's like hitting concrete at that speed as you see them touching they're gliding over together boy that accident could have been so much worse than it actually was you can see the driver still sitting in the cockpit there as she goes over as we get a chance to watch on board, there she hit the water, and right away you can see her trying to uh, extract herself and calm herself down and hitting the radio button saying, I'm okay, I survived this. And now she's getting a tremendous hand from this large crowd who appreciates what she did. And uh, now the reality is starting to set in a little bit. I think she was excited about uh, being in one piece, being cognizant and being okay. And uh, But now uh, you take a look at Ted Grigooch, the the wonderful uh, ex-champion from Canada, from Toronto, and uh, he has been the mentor for Sean Torrente for the past four years. And he's got to be bitterly disappointed thinking maybe he had the combination. And for Torrente, the question is uh, what kind of shape uh, his boat's going to be in when they tow it in. So uh, older technology, as you mentioned, but uh, he took it to the max. And you're absolutely right, Jonathan. That was his time. That was his effort. That was his process of trying to grab number one. And it looks like he was able to get side by side with her but uh, it didn't happen. Yeah I can see what he's saying there. he's talking to his crew chief he's obviously not very happy what he did was he took a, a, a line he gave her the space on the yellow as they went round there flat out and he started moving into the centre of the circuit but Marit was absolutely flat out she was gliding that boat it was going slowly sideways they obviously couldn't see each other because they were actually neck and neck with each other and then they got so close the boats touched 150 mile an hour 